What's up all, my tuner right here. It's the Autumn for Barbarossa Standard Combat Series, Briss received from uh, Multiman Publishing. This is Autumn for Barbarossa, the old person edition, just made for us 50 plus year olds who are having trouble seeing. Thank you, MMP. All right, so what do we got here? It's a Standard Combat Series game. It was originally published in the Special Ops Magazine, number seven in 2017. Covering the struggle, struggle for Smolensk in the su late summer of 1941, this marks the end of the initial period of Operation Barbarossa and the front stabilization until the last effort to take Moscow in Operation Typhoon that fall. So this is a reissue of that game. It was in that magazine and just people raved about it. Now what's funny is they'll see, is it as good as we said it, as everyone said, was saying it was? But what's cool is they redid it, fixed some errata, just came in a, a little bag, so it's an unbagging. And what they did an interesting thing. So I think normally SCS has half inch counters. Well, now that they went with five eights on this deluxe edition. So they are much bigger counters. And the half inch aren't really hard to see because there's not a lot of information on here, but it does make it easier to see. Yes, there are DG markers. Yes, supply markers. Victory point hex control, which is something you don't see in every game. I don't see anything else that stands out to me about it. Um, airstrikes remaining, that's not a too unusual turn, okay. Um, and the hexes are bigger, and so instead of being um, whatever map came in the magazine game, the hexes are a little bigger, and it's 218 by 22 maps, that sounds wrong. Uh, 18 by 22 maps, so it's about 35 inches wide by 22 inches, so it's not really that big. There was some concern, people were really worried about that for table size, I'm like, uh, it's not that much bigger than a standard map, which I think, aren't standard maps like 22 by 34, maybe 22 by 32, whatever. Anyway, it's your standard SCS game, there's nothing special about the map, it just looks good, it's nice and big. Got your turn record chart, <laughs> deluxe edition, I think they should have said old person edition. Hey, I'm 51, so I can do it. I'm sorry if I'm making you sick on this. Uh, this is nice, you know, it's got the error and the replacements and how many dice you roll. I always like it when that stuff's on the turn track. Uh, it just helps keep track of it. It's one less thing you have to keep track of. Uh, and in this game also, it comes with the standard series rules. So if you're not familiar with SCS, so it's eight pages, but this is designer notes. So it's really seven pages. These are the standard, these are rules that cover every game all the way back to the very first one they made. And then every game's got its own rules. And this is also for the old people edition. Look how much bigger the print is than that. I was like, what the heck? This is great. And there are one, two pages of special rules for that. And uh, then you got your, oh yeah, maybe three. Victory points per map, but you don't, they label them, and then they label them. So how great is that? I think I have another game on Smolensk. Order of arrival, everything's big. It's one scenario, combat table, Soviet terrain effects. Now that's always interesting. So let's see what's different. Um, here we go. Major river, plus two to move across. German, plus three. Tech half, tech half left two. So is there any difference in, no. So there's only, it's only a little bit of movement difference. So that's funny, I think, oh. Swamp is all four for them, three, two, okay. That's cool. A little slower to move through woods. It's their home turf. That's kind of neat. Got some exploit capable units here. I don't know. It's cool. I'm glad I got it. I have a little box I think I can put them in. I, or I may need to get another one of those for my little bag magazine game. I'm bag games. Uh, so that's the old person edition of Autumn for Barbarossa. Um, and that's that. Uh, we'll see what uh, was so good about it. And I'll have to see if I have another map because. Um, because I feel like I've seen this kind of similar area before in a game. Maybe a victory denied or victory lost. All right, that's it, Al. Um, enjoy it. I would, I mean, look, it, it was $30, $33 or something. I don't remember. You can probably get it cheaper, at, you know, at a, with your favorite retailer or something. But 30 bucks for a nice intro war game, it, it's very approachable. Very approachable. So you'll see some games here, maybe. Uh, McMurray, uh, you know, playing on my channel. McMurray playing on Hex to Hex. Who knows where else? I'm sure you'll see lots of unboxings of this, so there'll be a million of these. And uh, that's that. So Autumn for Barbarossa from MMP. Thank you, MMP, for remaking that. Uh, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, I feel a sneeze coming on. <coughs> Fall Schumacher. Okay, we'll talk to you later. Bye.